Hello, explorers. Kitty the Explorer here, and it is another day in Italy. And today we are going to take the Trenitalia and go to Venice. And I'm only going to do a day trip there. The train ride, I think it's about four hours from Rome to Venice. And we'll explore Venice and then come back to Rome and stay in this hotel again tonight. So let's get going. But first, if you have not already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and a notification bell right next to it so you be notified when all of my videos are released. Videos are released on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And on my channel, I talk about all things travel photography and some about the environment. So make sure you do that. It's free. And now let's get into today's video. After taking ride sharing, I have arrived at Roma Termini which is a train station in Rome, Italy, near my hotel. I am now waiting in the common area, waiting to see which track I need to go to to catch my train to Venice. It will pop up here on the board and it popped up a little late, so our train departed a little late, but it was very easy to walk to the track area, scan my ticket, and then board my train car. <laughs> I am now on the train and currently, or at least in August 2021, the trains weren't booked to capacity. You couldn't sit directly next to anyone unless they were your family traveling with you. So everyone was spaced out and given a lot of room to be physically distant away from each other, you know, due to the panic. Welcome to Venezia! Hey Explorers, have you signed up for my mailing list yet? If not, head on over to ketoexplorer.com backslash subscribe and get on my mailing list and see what's going on on my website because I have some information that will soon be released and you need to be on the mailing list to get it. Also, did you know I sell prints from my travels and photographs from all over the globe? So make sure you head on over to ketoexplorer.darkroom.tech so you can pick out photos from South Africa to the United States to liven up your space, just as I did with this photo. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. First stop, we are at T. Fandacto. It's the department store, but they have like a lookout of the city and it's free and you only have 15 minutes up there. So let's go. I am now in the holding room waiting for the prior group to finish up their 15 minutes on the rooftop. And then our entire group will go up at the same time to enjoy 15 minutes of the views of Venice. I also showed you my ticket, which you have to have in order to get up to the rooftop as it is scanned and checked before entering the holding room. I will leave a link down below to the website where you can register for your free ticket and also enjoy the luxurious department store as you enter or leave the rooftop.
Welcome to Cafe Florian, which is the oldest cafe in Venice. It was established in 1720 and it is located in the Piazza San Marco. They have live music that you can request a song and it will be an additional cost to request a song, but the food was fabulous. The only thing to note, the waiter did tell me that to make sure I kept my food covered, even though there was umbrellas up above because the seagulls sometimes come and take your food. So that definitely didn't happen to me, thank goodness. And also I didn't have to have a reservation. I just walked up and I was seated right away. There's plenty of places to sit and a lot of things to look at at Cafe Florian. Okay, so as we are all accounted for, I say that we can get going. If you do not mind following me, we have another 30 seconds walk to do straight this way and on the right side to meet uh, the water taxi for the boat tour. Okay, I keep the sign high just in case. We can have up to four people on the back seats and the steps we use to go. As you can see, I have started a boat tour and we're going to go through all of the Venice canals. I found this tour on Viator, which I will link down below if you're interested in going on it. It was probably about an hour long and the tour guide gave great information as we rode along. So tune in and enjoy this tour of Venice canals. But most importantly, a multi ethnic and multicultural city where foreign communities met through trade and exchange goods coming from all over the world. It's a bit sunny out in uh, the in St. Mark's Basin, so how about we go and refresh ourselves by delving already into the labyrinth of Venetian um, minor canals? Straight ahead, you can see Rio dei Greci. Its name means Minor Canal of the Greeks, out of the Greek Orthodox Church, whose leading bell tower you may already enjoy a bit from the whole among the population. Eventually, however, when the Greek soldiers started to help the Venetian If you didn't know, there aren't any cars in Venice. People will get around by boat if they can afford one or have room to store one, or by water taxi, or of course, by foot. It owes its name to the enormous cathedral of St. John and Paul that was for centuries the seat of the Dominican friars and friends. Since its completion in 1430, this church, however, also started to serve as the pantheon of the Venetian Doges. Cyprus, this relies on the beautiful church of the Madonna del Morto. Its name means the Church of the Virgin in the Garden. Yeah, some of these personal objects, private letters, and what's more, once a year, a week of concerts celebrating Wagner's uh, music. The reconstruction carried out by the Reverend Stone and the Raven and Art Collector Giorgio Franchetti. Today you find this collection displayed inside, very, very close to the seat of the Rialto Market. There you go. And we have reached the Rialto Bridge. The Rialto Bridge is one of four bridges people can use to cross the Grand Canal. The construction of this bridge ended in 1591 and it is a stone arch bridge. And it is the oldest bridge in Venice that is still in use. Golden 
It has been a fun-filled day in Venice, but it's time for me to head back home. And I'm gonna stop and get me a drink from Hard Rock Cafe before I head back to the train station. But one thing to note, if you ever visit Venice, make sure you pack light and have comfortable shoes because those cobblestone streets and stairs are no joke. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave that down below in the comment box. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because it's free and it supports my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, check out the recommended video on the left or watch the playlist on the right. And make sure you stay tuned for my upcoming video on Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank you again for watching.